This is our Holy Week Daily Devotions for Wednesday, April 8th. Our reading is from Matthew, the 27th chapter, verses 45 to 49. From about noon on, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lemma sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, This man's calling for Elijah. And at once one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. But others said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. Do you want to know what was in the heart of Jesus when he died? It was a song. A song written a thousand years before Jesus was born. It's a song that Jesus spoke the first lines of on the cross. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The song speaks of the honesty of desperation, loneliness, fear, and suffering. But it also speaks of hope and salvation. Here is the song. Imagine Jesus on the cross singing these words softly to himself, singing them to his heavenly Father. Imagine God the Father's pain and pride in hearing such a song from his beloved Son. See now through the eyes of prophecy, the heart of Jesus on the cross. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why so far from saving me, so far from the words of my groaning? My God, I cry out to you by day, but you do not answer. By night, I find no rest. Yet you are the Holy One, enthroned for the praises of Israel. Our ancestors put their trust in you. They trusted and you rescued them. They cried out to you and they were delivered. They trusted in you and were not put to shame. But as for me, I am a worm and not a human, scorned by all and despised by the people. All who see me laugh at me to scorn they curl their lips, they shake their heads. He trusted in the Lord. Let the Lord deliver him. Let God rescue him, if God delights in him. Yet you are the one who drew me forth from the womb and kept me safe on my mother's breast. I have been entrusted to you ever since I was born. You were my God when I was still in my mother's womb. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no help for me. Many young bulls encircle me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their jaws at me like a slashing and roaring lion. I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart within my breast is melting wax. My strength is dried up like a pot shard. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth, and you have laid me in the dust of death. Packs of dogs close around me, a band of evildoers circles around me, and they pierce my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones while they stare at me and gloat. They divide my garments among them. For my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, be not far away. O my help, hasten to my aid. Deliver me from the sword, my life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth. From the horns of the wild bulls you have rescued me. I will declare your name to my people in the midst of the assembly. I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, give praise. All you of Jacob's line give glory. Stand in awe at the Lord, all of you offspring of Israel. 
For the Lord does not despise nor abhor the poor in their poverty, neither is the Lord's face hidden from them. But when they cry out, the Lord hears them. From you come my praise in the great assembly. I will perform my vows in the sight of those who fear the Lord. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Let those who seek the Lord give praise. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of nations shall bow before God. For dominion belongs to the Lord who rules over the nations. Indeed, all who sleep in the earth shall bow down and worship. All who go down to the dust, though they be dead, shall kneel before the Lord. The descendants that serve the Lord, whom they shall proclaim to generations to come. And they shall proclaim God's deliverance to a people yet on board, saying to them, The Lord has acted. Let us pray. Lord, give us the strength to be honest to you when we are broken and we feel that you don't listen. But also help us, Lord, to remember all those that you have listened to in the past and to remember that they endured by faith. So give us the strength to endure until our prayers are answered. In your holy name we pray. Amen.